and rising, okay? So if it's your first time here, welcome. Thank you so much for checking this out. My returning subscribers, thank you as always. I love that you guys um, allow me to serve you. So without further ado, let's get into the reading, okay? We've got a lot going on today for you this month. This month in July, remember, we've got two eclipses, right? We had the solar eclipse on the 2nd of July, and at the time of this recording on the 5th, we're still feeling some of that energy, okay? And then upcoming, we do have another full, we have a full moon eclipse, um, partial lunar eclipse on the 16th of July. So right at that tail end of um, Cancer in Capricorn. So a uh, lot of that of going on on that axis, right? That Cancer North North Cap and south node axis in july so all signs affected and it's really the focus is internal and the focus is like how you're relating to your surroundings as far as home hearth materialistically job career are you really satisfied with what you have um as far as your career as far as what you're doing with your life are you really feeling like you're really operating on your life purpose or is it just kind of like kind of going and the universe right now is really kind of forcing us to do that. That, um, first of all, the overall energy towards you is a great month to start new things. Ace of Crystals, like business start, right? So this is like the Ace of Pentacles, starting a new business, especially if it's a spirit in the spiritual or metaphysical um, area, genre, what have you, um, sphere. You really want to focus in on that. This is a great time for, it could be a crystal shop. It could be, I don't know, even CBD oil because people use that, right? It could be your Reiki practice. It could be your um, finally coming out and really truly being the intuitive that you are meant to be. But the, the way the planets are aligned with Saturn um, sextiling Neptune, okay? Both in retrograde, it's really shining the light on your own personal intuition, your personal spiritual abilities and um, really aligning and, and being in tune with what is above. And then we also have the perspective card, change your perspective on all things that you've been looking at. And as you change your perspective internally on yourself, how you look at yourself, how you perceive yourself, all of that wonderful, you know, new thoughts, then that Ace of Crystals can really come about. That's the manifestation you will see right? You'll be able to see third dimensionally all that you've been working on. Um, that being said, so we're going to look at this nine of cups. We have the nine of cups energy coming towards you. So, you know, universe is saying, hey, really look at yourself in a positive light. This, I'm satisfied with who I am, where I am, emotionally satisfied. I know earth sign, sometimes emotions escape you. But you really have to be tuned in to your emotions because emotion is the is the secret sauce to manifestation. So you really want to bring something, if bring it down from fifth dimensional, um, the energy itself, bring it in distance. It is putting your energy in motion or emotion. And this is further clarified by the King of Pentacles. So this, what this is telling me is my Nine of Cups completion of self completion, my nine of cups being self-energized, my nine of cups being self energy is going to then bring forward King of Pentacles. You see how that works? You're though bringing to the table this nine of wands. That can be good. That can be not so good. Um, and with it being um, clarified with the death card, Probably this is actually, oh my gosh, we have the Seven of Swords here again. So we have the Seven of Swords here and the Seven of Swords at the end. This tells me something big. I'm looking at this Nine of Wands and the energy that I'm getting is not so much rest. It is this um, verbiage, I've come so far, I've done so much, I've put so much into it. I should be getting more out of it. Or I've I've been on this particular path for so long, and I have to defend my position as to why I'm doing it. 
I'm not really willing to change. I'm just going to kind of sit here with this Nine of Wands. I'm going to be very, which is seemingly going to um, bring me harvest. But it's almost as if deep down inside you kind of know it's not going to be as fulfilling, as large of a harvest as it could be. But you're defending your position as to why you're there. But you want to change. You want something new. You wish to transform. But you're feeling like time has been stolen from you. And you're finally seeing the lies or the untruths that have been spoken over you and how they're affecting you. And those that you've spoken over yourself. I apologize. It's not too late. It's not too late to change, to alter your point of view on yourself. It's not too late to alter your point of view on your life. It's not too late to change and course correct. Now, what could potentially energy get in your way this month? This is the Serenity card, which is in the Star Child Tarot deck, is the Hermit card. Your own energy. You could get in the way of yourself. Fancy that. And then we have the Ace of Swords, this energy that's going to help you overcome it. This is why I'm feeling what I'm feeling here with this card. Because... The message is you've got to start thinking new, talking new, starting something new. If you wish to receive even the slightest, you've been getting some small seven of pentacles harvest here, but it's nowhere near what you really should be getting, right? It's nowhere near what will make, oh my gosh, and the ace of swords again. If that's not, when I start seeing these doubles like this come out, I know that that is a message that is just like, Blinking, flashing lights. Hello. If you were to start with this new idea, if you were to start speaking well over, if you were to change course, if you were to course correct and be willing to admit that perhaps you were going at it the wrong way and maybe you should have zigged when you zagged, maybe you should have gone right when you went left, whatever the case is, beloved, if you're willing to do that, then you can start the engine back up and you'll get this Ace of Pentacles. You'll get the Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Crystals. But remember what this overall energy was, right? The Ace of Crystals and perspective. You got to change your perspective on this whole thing. You see, when that solar eclipse happens, it opens up a new portal, it opens up, it happened at the new moon. So this is new start, right? New chapter, we got a new chapter, right? And the sun then being eclipsed by the new moon says that intuition and spirit is now coming to the forefront a new way of operating spiritually and metaphysically and it's blocking how we've perceived ourselves from the very beginning it's blocking it or it's how we perceive ourselves currently it's blocking it and then starting it new this is the opportunity you have we we were given with that solar eclipse and it was an uh an elevation, if you will, to the higher plane and a higher sense of being able to tap in, a higher ability to tap into that which is spiritual, which is the true reality. So this was a new, it was an open door, an open portal. It's still open. It's not like it's closed. That was the start of multiple resets that have been, or one of multiple resets that have been going on. I say that to say this. Take that refreshed energy 
and use it. Don't get uncomfortable with it. I know it's change, but use it because it's going to help you manifest. This is what now outcome or advice is seven of swords. We have the seven of swords here. I already talked about what the seven of swords to me is signifying. And I, I don't feel this is anyone else stealing it from you. I think you've stolen it from yourself. Because if you can stop stealing from yourself, we have the wheel of fortune. We have fortune's going to turn in your favor. The wheel turns in your favor. You've got to make a two of wands decision, right? You have new opportunities coming to you. Like there's a new way to do what you've been wanting to do. I can't stress that enough. It's either a new partner, you know, a different partnership, right? A different mentor, just something new. It's a new way of doing it. And you're gonna, it's going to really invigorate and excite you. I can't wait. It's going to be beautiful, yeah? Mm. And eight of wands. And it's going to be good for you to move forward with it and profitable. But you have to stop stealing your own abundance from yourself. You have to stop stealing your own abundance. You have to stop stealing your own joy. You have to stop stealing your own light. You have to stop stealing from yourself in order for this to really, really manifest in the way that it should. Okay, the, it, this is being try, it, it, the universe is trying to bring it to you and the universe is just asking you, could you just, just vibrate with me? Just vibrate with me. Just vibrate at this frequency of abundance. Vibrate at the fr frequency of goodness. Vibrate at the frequency of purpose. Vibrate at the frequency of manifestation. Vibrate at the frequency of life itself right and if you can do that there's no limit to what you can do this is what i have for you thank you so much for watching please do consider liking and subscribing hit the subscribe button on one of these sites um hit that like button and do leave me some comments if you will. Um, I am having tarot class. We're going to do a spot about that at the very end of this video. So do stay tuned for that. And you can always book um, readings with me or Reiki energy healing sessions or spiritual cleansing sessions at heartofinspiration.net. All that information is down below in the description box. Peace, love, blessings, and joy be unto you today, tomorrow, and for all eternity. I love you so much. Namaste. Bye-bye. Learn to read tarot. Classes start July the 20th. Five weeks, interactive course, video downloads to keep, all for $297. Go to www.heartofinspiration.net to register now.